chili dog casserole. I'm excited. Are you? I don't know what to say about this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today on Cook the Book we are cooking uh, dump dinners. Dump dinner with uh, Miss Kathy Mitchell. We love her. But uh, one recipe in this book it's called chili dog casserole and that's what we're making. So Please stick around because I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I might need moral support at the end. So let's get started. Um, okay, so, uh, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so chili dog casserole sounds weird AF, but we're going to make it. We're not making eight hot dogs. We are making three hot dogs because I have three tortillas. Okay, so the ingredients, if you wanna do the full recipe, which serves four to six people, depending, I guess, on how many hot dogs they want. It is two 15 ounce cans of chili with beans. Um, in the last Cook the Basics video, I did chili, so I'm gonna use the homemade chili. So I guess you can use homemade chili, or two cans of chili with beans. Eight hot dogs, eight six inch flour tortillas, and half a cup of mild cheddar cheese. So you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And then uh, the next step is to spread the chili on the bottom of an 11 by seven baking dish. So this is a six by nine because we're doing a half. And I guess I'm just gonna take a big old scoop of chili. Big old scoop of chili. All right, place one hot dog on each tortilla, roll it up, and then place it seam side down on top of the chili. Got one hot dog here. Roll it up. And there we go, seam side down. So it looks interesting. And the last one. So now it says to lightly spray with non cook, non cook, jeez. Lightly spray with non stick spray to aid in browning the tortillas. Ugh, ugh, I'm out. All right, that should brown them. That's lightly, right? Right. Okay, so now we need to bake it for 15 minutes um, or until the hot dogs are brown and heated through and the tortillas, hot dogs are not brown. You can't see if the hot dogs are brown. Uh, so now we need to bake it for 15 minutes or until the hot dogs are heated through and the tortillas are brown. Okay, so after 15 minutes, this is what we have. Um, I don't have just cheddar cheese. It calls for mild cheddar. I have Colby Jack, which I prefer, especially on my chili. So it says half a cup. I'm just gonna cover. We're gonna taste some chili dog casserole. Are you excited? Are you? Really? Yeah, me too. Okay, so chili dog casserole, five minutes. We'll be right back. All right, it's been five minutes. This is what I've got. It's pretty good looking. It's pretty good smelling. Um, from here, you can take whatever kind of chili dog toppings you want and put on there. I'm gonna put some diced onion. And I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a few minutes. Just, just a few to soften those up. Like maybe, maybe four or five. All right, so this has been in the oven for about about five minutes. Um, had a thought about it, I would put it on and I put the cheese on and just let it cook for 10. It would have been a little bit more soft, but you know what? They're still good. It smells good. Let's, uh, let's crack into this thing here. So we're gonna take one hot 
dog tortilla thing. And let's scoop a little bit extra chili on that. I'm gonna move this out the way. A little more, a little more. Um, I do have different nail polish on. That is because this is a different day <laughs> from when I started the video. And that is because um, the first time I made this dish, I was very impatient and I put it under the broiler and I burnt the absolute <laughs> out of it. It just looked bad, it looked really bad. Bad news. I, I didn't pay attention like I should have. I'm sorry, this is not the homemade chili, it's canned. It's not gonna taste as good. And uh, I, I burnt it out of my thumb. I burnt it, it, it didn't feel good. But now we're gonna taste this recipe by Miss Kathy over here and see, uh, see what we think. Normally I wouldn't use a knife for this because I don't think this is kind of a knife type meal. I just wanna make sure that there's a good, you know, Kind of see what's going on here. Some extra chili on it. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Okay, so I mean the chili is subpar, but that's only because it's not homemade. Whatever. Now yeah. click right up here to watch a video on uh, some really good homemade chili. Also, me personally, I like the bun. I like a lot of bun with my chili dog, but if you do not like all of that bread, but you still want a chili dog, this, this is the recipe for you because you get all the flavor without all the extra bread. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Let me take another bite. Yeah, yeah, I think I really, really like this recipe. I mean, if you got a crowd to please, it's cheap, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's delicious. So that's, oh, and it's easy. So that's five reasons to try out dump dinners. If you guys try this recipe, let me know down below in the comments, or you can, you know, tag me in an Instagram post. Uh, you can tag me on Twitter. I wanna see whether or not you guys are cooking this and what you think of it. And make sure that if you like this video, you hit like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell icon that way you know every time I upload a video. And uh, enjoy your dump dinners. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.